I've been getting questioned a lot recently about what kind of sports activities are available in Armenia, Colombia. And so I'm going to show you a few. You know, last week I did the golf. There is one golf course here in Armenia. There's another one in Pereira, so it's not far away. There's another one in Manizales. But here, not far from me, and I've shown the building in a few other videos, is the Bolos Club. Now, Bolos is for bowling, so it's a bowling club. But this bowling club has all kinds of things. Now, I'm not going to give you the monthly fee to be there because it changes all the time. Who knows, somebody's going to watch this video three years from now and it'll be wrong information. But you can look it up on the website and you can see it. And I'll tell you, it's not all that expensive. And in dollars, you might spend $20, $30 a month there. But you check it, you compare it. So you've got billiards, you've got bowling, you've got a uh, huge exercise uh, gymnasium. You've got swimming pool, sauna, you've got uh, a whole bunch of uh, clay tennis courts. But beyond that, it's also, it's a social center. You can see, you know, older people, kids, there's, there's a constant activity uh, going on there. You see they've got their own beauty shop. You can get your hair cut, hair made up. You can get uh, your fingernails done if you're of a mind. So it's, it's, a, it's a really big complex. It's a huge complex. And it's very upscale, very nice, not horribly expensive. So let's take a look at this, um, this video clip here for the next minute or so. Uh, these are the clay tennis courts. They're a big believer in clay for tennis courts here. I haven't seen anything that wasn't clay. Yes, as you can see, there's a lot of league activity, uh, school extracurricular activity. Now, schools will have their own uh, soccer team, and part of the gym classes is, is uh, soccer or football, as they as they say here. You know, so it's it's a huge thing. It's a big sport. No American football in Quake, Ecuador. You could find American football. They're trying to start up a league in Ecuador, but it's really not a thing here in Armenia. If you're so inclined, if you want to get involved in these, you can. You can get into the uh, men or women's uh, soccer leagues. You can, they have volleyball, volleyball tournaments, tennis. Uh, they've got tennis coaches there. So... So if you need a tennis instructor, you can uh, avail of that service. Also here, they're very well known for their restaurant. Uh, being the social, a lot of social events take place here. And they're especially known for uh, desserts. I would say that's probably an Olympic-sized pool. And you can a la carte. You can say, I just, uh, I'm not a member, but I want to use the pool and, you know, pay a fee for that. They'll tell you when the pool is um, open and when it's closed for uh, planned activities. So is it only the Bolos Club? I would say no. I would say that there's other things to do. So we're going to take a look at a few more.
Now this lady is the world bowling champion, I think three times, and she's right here from uh, Armenia, Colombia. And she got her start in a teen and youth activity center. Club Corazon, Club of the Heart. And if you have kids and you want to uh, do something beyond the school, that's a club that's available. There's a web page for it, so you can look that up as well. But you say, I'm retired, I need something more. You know, it's, well, let's take a look, let's see what else we've got. This is something I am constantly asking about. Is there any cycling? Is there any activities for it? Well, there are many cycling clubs, and this is a video from a cycling club. So you can join those. And if you're really into cycling, you may want to do that because part of what they do are these adventure bikes where uh, this one in particular, it's, um, it's very popular to go from Armenia to Salento, for example. Uh, you can see Club Millennium is, uh, is for those people, so you can sign up. Now, you don't have to join a club to go biking. You can just go biking and you can go to the same places they're going. But if you don't know the area, it might be a thing to do, to, at least in the beginning. And of course, you're going to make friends. And if you don't really speak any or much Spanish, you're going to find people in that club or anywhere that are going to be very helpful. They're going to, oh, they don't speak any Spanish, so let me see if I can help. You know, so that's just kind of a, a quick showing of some of the things, some of the options that you have to um, be involved in sports. You can have club activities, you can do things on your own, and there's much more. And there's lots of uh, gymnasiums you can join. Uh, typical cost on that is somewhere around $20 for a, a gym membership. If you can imagine it, you're probably going to find it here with few exceptions. Now, I don't think they have a curling club, for example. You know, so if you're the guy that uh, sweeps in front of that stone rolling down the ice, yeah, you're going to be out of luck. But most everything else, you're going to find it. So I hope this um, answers some of those questions and get your brain a percolating about some things that you can do.